up everybody welcome back to my channel welcome 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 today I have something that I've never done before yet again I have two boxycharm boxes to be opening up with you guys today I'm so excited I have already opened them but you know I had to see what was in them but we're gonna open them with you guys today I'm super excited this is October October and November's box um yeah so we're gonna start with October's I'm so excited October's box I don't know let's just jump straight up into it so today I have on some of the products just a few of them obviously I'm not gonna have them all on but you know I had to put some of them on for the video this is one of the first things that was in the October box this is a face primer I love this thing this thing is so good I wasn't too sure about them because if you know me I'm not that big of a fan of face primers but girl when I tried this thing out I was highly impressed this is the glassy touch and soul um, skin balm it says it's a skin balm but also a primer I used it today underneath all my makeup and I absolutely love the way it makes my foundation look. But it looks like this. It just it doesn't really have much of a color. Maybe a little pink tint to it. But nothing like hardly at all. This fragrance. It smells like a very, very light florally almost. But it's not really that florally. It's like a basic... A basic it's like it hardly has a smell at all but it does have the tiniest hint I'd say almost florally I suck at describing smells but that's how I describe it I love it the texture of it fantastic I like that it doesn't have a lot of fragrance because I don't like that much fragrance on my face if we're doing you know anything too much I just feel like it tends to give me a headache so I really really like this I've used this twice already and I'm highly impressed with it the next thing is this this is the glam glow gentle bubble daily conditioning cleanser that's a mouthful I've used this two I've used this one time I'm not quite sure how I feel about this yet um it did leave my face quite soft, but my skin is very, very sensitive, and it doesn't like a lot of things, so I'm not quite sure how I like this, but it doesn't have any fragrance at all, which is highly appreciated, but I don't know. Like, none at all. But it is super smooth and soft to the touch, but yet again... I got some some very very like delicate skin and it will burn off of the slightest thing like I absolutely it's so irritating I absolutely hate it but it is what it is the next thing I got is this this is a lip gloss it's a lip plumping gloss in nearly nude this is the from the brand iconic London if you know me, I'm not really a big fan of plumping glosses. I don't like the sting. I don't like the little, the, I don't know, the feeling of it, like plumping, I'm not a fan of. The color, on the other hand of this, is very, very good. I like it. This one doesn't have so much of a sting. It's a little lighter than the normal one, or like the average plumping gloss. But I do definitely love the color of this. Not so much of the fact that it's a plumping gloss, though. Uh, the next thing I have is this. This is a lip liner. When I tell you I've seen a, a lip liner as red as this lip liner, this lip liner is red. Like, it is very... Can you see it better there since it's against my dark hair? It's really red. Um... I have not tried this oh wow yeah it's super smooth it's super super smooth that feels really good it slides on very nicely 
This is from Jante Blue and it's in color Hot Red 947. Never heard of this brand before actually if we're being honest, but looks pretty good to me. It glided on very, very smoothly. Um, but yeah. The second to the last thing, it is the Tarte High Performance Naturals Clay Play Face Shaping Palette. What's up with all these things having the longest names in the history of names? Um, I have this on my face today. It looks like, I don't want to show you. It looks like that. It's super, super nudie, like the whole entire thing. Kay never complained about some nudes, but yet, I feel like everyone has their already stack of nude palettes or nude colors in general. I'm not gonna lie, I already have them, but that one, that formula, I have it on my eyes today. I know y'all can hardly see it, but I like. I like when my lids, if I'm going for more of a natural look like this, I like when it has just a little color to it and not like a lot because I feel like you always need some color even if it's just like a little bit or put on some blush or a little bit of bronzer on your lids or something to just make it look a little more colorful and less just blanked out personally. And then the very last thing I got is this which I was very disappointed with. You know the little, you, I don't know if you know this or not, but when you, um, sign up for BoxyCharm you take this little survey of like what you would like to get and what you don't like to get and where you shop at and all these little things and personally I don't do my eyebrows if you know me I pluck them you tweeze them you do this do that but I do not fill them in I don't know why it's just a pet peeve of mine I feel like it's just not for me like so many people do it and personally I'm not about that life it is what it is. They sent me a um, brow gel. This and in dark brown. It could have at least been in like medium brown or something. It's definitely not dark brown, but um, definitely will not be using this. Not my thing. But that was everything for November's. Now let's go to October's. October, I'm not even going to lie, I was kind of disappointed. Not even going to lie. The first thing is this Dose of Colors, which I'm not complaining about. Absolutely love Dose of Colors. This is the liquid lipstick, liquid matte lipstick in the color Flirty. I have it on today. Absolutely love it. Never complained about a pink a day in my life. I love it. Um... The next thing I got is this palette. I'm not sure how I feel about it. I've heard a lot of uh, good things about it. Um, the colors in this palette are insane. Like, holy. I. Those are really, really pretty. There's some really good shimmers in there, too. Like, the black matter, it's almost purpley. Like, this one right here, that has like a dark tint a dark undertone of purple in it that one and I absolutely love it the blue is also a very good color I don't know I like a lot of the colors in there I think they're very beautiful I cannot wait to play with this matter of fact we gonna swatch some now because your yeah, girl I'm nosy. okay which one are we gonna do we have to do the black matter for sure we have to do that one. Ooh. Uh, I feel like... That's very soft. Very, very soft. Very shimmery. We're gonna do Mystic Ice. Oh, wow. That's really, really soft. We got one, too. That one's really pretty too. That swatch sucks. And then we'll do Lucid Dream. I don't know. They look pretty damn good to me. My swatches suck. So don't blame me on me that. but Or blame me on that. Whatever you feel like. Those are really, really nice. It does look like they have quite a bit of fallout. But as long as they got that pigment, we with it. I'm with it. Moving on, the next thing I got are these two brushes. They came in this little bag. 
They're super, super dense. I can't wait to try them out. If y'all have any good cream contours that y'all want me to try or have or that you guys like, leave them down below. I would really want to try some. I don't have one cream contour. Isn't that crazy? I feel like I should by now, but I don't. It's never been my thing. I can't wait to try these out, though. They're super soft, super dense. They feel bomb. Uh, BoxyCharm is known for, like, not giving, like, samples and stuff. They give, like, full-sized beauty products. And I wasn't really worried because I did, like, so many things in this box. But if we're being honest, I was a little bit disappointed. I got two, um, face masks. And, uh, to me that just didn't make a lot of sense at all because... Why would they give me face masks? But I guess, I don't know. I guess that's a normal thing. I don't know. I was looking for more for like an actual, like they say, a full size something instead of just like a one time use face mask. But I'm not complaining because I did like a lot of things that were in this box. This is the morning Google eye mask. I feel like I'm saying that wrong, but it's definitely not Google. <laughs> Goggle. <laughs> Brightening and protect and then this is the repair and relax one i am waiting to try these out obviously i've not tried them yet because they're not open but i like I, a face masks i mean they're decent and then i got a sampler this is the becca ultimate cover 24 hour foundation i don't know how i feel about this though i feel like I don't know. And then the very last thing for this box I got, which I'm very pleased with yet again, is the Stem Cellular anti wrinkle Eye Treatment. I literally cannot wait to try this. I have not tried this, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to absolutely love it. But I love anything skincare, like literally anything. This fancy tip though, like, okay, okay, we're going to use that bit. This is probably the second most exciting thing. I love nude lips or pink lips, so this definitely, the Dose of Colors comes close to the top, and then uh, the palette, and then this. These are like my top three favorite. Very pleased with this box. Absolutely can't wait till next month's box, but... I don't know, I just, I'd be so excited for them, and I, ugh, I don't know, I love opening these, I love them so much, but that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, I'm sorry about posting out last week, I had made a video of opening one of these boxes, and I did my makeup like along with it, and it was just out, I didn't like the way it turned out, quality over quantity, so it was just out, and then I ended up getting sick, so I didn't refilm one and it, it was just a whole lot of mess so I had to skip a week. But anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. We at 30,000 baby, 30,000. I can't wait till 50,000 but anyways, I love you guys all. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video.